Fedora 43 Roadmap What's coming next? What if your everyday computing could run smoother, feel more secure, and adapt better to your needs? That's the promise of Fedora 43, the upcoming release from one of the most innovative Linux distributions out there. In this video, we are diving into the official plans, highlighting the major updates that could redefine how you use your system. Stick around. We are about to unpack the roadmap and show you why this version is worth the hype. Introducing Fedora 43. First off, let's cover the basics. Fedora is a free, community-driven Linux operating system, sponsored by Red Hat, known for pushing cutting-edge technology while staying user-friendly. Fedora 43 is the next major version in this lineup, building on the stability and innovations of previous releases. As for the release date, based on Fedora's typical six-month cycle, it's slated for late October 2025, around the fourth Tuesday, which lands on October 28th. Keep in mind, this could shift slightly depending on final testing. But the beta phase is usually wrapping up by now, giving early adapters a chance to test it out. Why is Fedora 43 significant? It continues Fedora's tradition of integrating the latest open source advancements, making it a go-to choice for developers, enthusiasts, and everyday users who want a modern, reliable operating system without the bloat. This release focuses on refining core components to deliver better performance and security in an ever-evolving digital landscape. Now let's talk about the key features. A sneak peek. Let's get into what you can expect. On the performance front, Fedora 43 is set to offer noticeable speed boosts through updates to essential tools. For instance, the new tool chain including GCC 15.2 and glibc 2.42 will enhance compilation and runtime efficiency, meaning faster app builds and smoother multitasking for power users. Security is getting a serious update too. Features like improved debug information verification and cryptographic checks for debugging tools will help protect against vulnerabilities. Plus, there is better support confidential virtualization on certain hardware, which is great for running secure virtual machines. These changes aim to make Fedora even more robust against modern threats without complicating things for regular users. When it comes to user experience, the installer is a highlight. The Anaconda installer is switching to a web-based interface by default for more editions making setup more intuitive and visually appealing. Language updates like Python 3.14 and Perl 5.42 bring new capabilities for scripting and automation, while font enhancements ensure crispier, more colorful images and text rendering. Now, under the hood, the tech talk. Now, for the deeper dives. Starting with the desktop environment. Fedora Workstation will ship with the latest GNOME, likely version 49, featuring refined interface and better integration. A big shift is making GNOME VLAND only, dropping legacy X11 support. This means a more secure, efficient display system with improved graphic performance, multi-monitor handling, and reduced latency, which is perfect for gaming or creative work. Speaking of Wayland, expect ongoing refinements in this display server protocol, including better compatibility with apps and hardware. It's all about creating a seamless, modern graphical experience without the overhead of older tech. On the file system side, Fedora has long embraced BTRFS as its default. And Fedora 43 builds on that with potential tweaks for better snapshot management and data integrity. BTRFS features like built-in RAID support 
and easy rollbacks. Continue to shine, making system maintenance simpler and more reliable for backups or recoveries. Other under the hood gems include updates to LLVM21 for better code optimization, Golang 1.25 for enhanced application development, and RPM 6.0 for streamlined package management. These aren't flashy, but they collectively make the system more efficient and future proof. Now, the Fedora community, a strong foundation. At its heart, Fedora thrives because of its vibrant community. A mix of developers, testers, designers, and users from around the world. This isn't just a distro, it's a collaborative project where ideas turn into reality through open discussions and contributions. If you are interested in getting involved, it's easier than you think. You can report bugs, suggest features via Fedora Wiki, or even package software. Tools like Packet Automate Releases, lowering the barrier for new maintainers. Fedora 43 itself is a testament to this teamwork, with changes proposed, debated, and refined by the community to ensure they benefit everyone. Whether you are a newbie or a seasoned contributor, joining forums, attending virtual events, or following the mailing list can keep you in the loop and let you shape the project's direction. Now finally, are you excited about Fedora 43? Jump in now, download the beta if it's available, or follow the official Fedora site for updates. Join the community discussions to share your thoughts and help test the features. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux insights, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our coverage when Fedora 43 drops. Let's explore the future of open source together. What's your most anticipated feature? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.